Thank you, Zainab, and it's the final leg of this tour. We are in Karachi, it's warm, but the good part is there's a fair bit of breeze blowing across. We've got our match referee next to me, Mr. Chris Broad, and then we have Barbara Azam, the home captain, Tom Latham, leading New Zealand. Barbara has the coin. Heads. Heads is the call. It is a head. Beautiful. And it is heads. First hurdle cross. Toss comes here always, so what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to have a bowl first. Um, yeah, it's, it looks a, another good surface, probably similar to the last couple of games. But um, yeah, I think we've, we've seen chasing might be slightly easier. So uh, fingers crossed we can do a good job with the ball first up. Compared to Lahore and Pindi, you have a fairly good idea of this place because you've played here start of the year. What do you make of this surface and no pressure of very high scores on this ground? Yeah, I think it's obviously a slightly different time of year than when we were here uh, a few months ago. But again, it looks a, it looks a decent surface. So, uh, you know, regardless whether you're batting or bowling first, it's trying to do that well. And I guess from our point of view, first up, it's trying to adapt to this, this slightly new surface. So fingers crossed we can do that early on. What are the changes that have you brought in, in the team? Uh, so Tom, Tom Blundell, Cole McConkie comes in and makes his debut and Adam Milne is back. Well, good luck. Cheers, thank you. Good luck, mate. Barber, first time you will have to bat first. Happy with that, but of course chasing has more records here. Uh, to be honest, yes, we have a, a bat first. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, we will try to run on the boat and put pressure on them. And uh, I think the pitch look like dry and a little bit warm weather. So uh, I think uh, 290, 280 is defendable. The last series was in January, 280, 270 was enough. Do you feel that that is the score Karachi for Karachi? I think, uh, uh, yes, uh, 280, 290 is uh, defendable, uh, yes. Uh, but uh, so later on, maybe I'll be the spinners uh, because of due. Due when he's uh, down and uh, a little bit uh, spin in the, in, the, in the lights. What are the changes from Pindi in the 11? Uh, we have uh, three changes. Uh, Shada playing, uh, Shane back, and then the same junior is playing. Uh, Haris is rest because of uh, workload management, uh, and uh, Sanula is not playing, and uh, Samamir is not playing. Good luck to you. Cheers. So, we know now that Tom Latham has won the toss, and he has decided that they are going to, uh, well, of course, decide to what? Ball first. What yeah, you... I'm not surprised. I mean, the weather here, um, much, much hotter, much steamier, of course, than it was in Islamabad. And so the conditions um, will be uncomfortable for the team fielding first. But I suppose the calculation is that this pitch here will be a little bit stickier, hold the ball a little bit more perhaps now than it will do later under the lights. A couple of areas um, that interest me here, Sikanda, and that, that is this sort of bald patch, um, something that I'm very, very uh, familiar with, the bald patch here, where there are one or two cracks. I mean, they're, they're kind of, they're pretty solid. They don't move around too much. Um, and therefore, there might just be that little bit of unevenness in the surface. Um, however, there isn't really a lot to report about the surface. I don't think it's going to turn a great deal. It might be low, uh, but it might be a little bit of unevenness, but it should be a good surface. The thing for me is the fact that we have this beautiful breeze coming across the ground here. It's coming from the long side, sort of in the southwest corner, towards the short side. So the bowlers are going to be wanting to try and get the batters to hit it into that long side, about 82 yards into that boundary over there, so that it gets held up in the wind. Batters are going to be looking into this corner thinking, well, that's just Christmas time. We're going to keep belting it out of the park. So pitch-wise, I don't know, 280, 290 might be sort of top whack we're looking at, but it should be a really, really good surface um, for what should be a good contest, whether you bat first or bat second. But you don't feel that Toss has had a good say in the series and then over here, Tom Latham would feel that, yeah, one hurdle crossed? Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, it, I think it would be nice for them to, to get the chance to chase out here. Um, give Daryl Mitchell perhaps the chance to, to affect the game in the second half. Um, however, I don't think that it's going to have a massive impact. It's not quite the same as Islamabad, where the numbers kind of tell you that chasing is the way to go. Um, here it's about, what, three out of five that the, the chasing team wins. Uh, and it'll pretty much depend, I think, on how well who plays best. I don't think the toss itself or the surface is going to have a massive shout in what happens today. Do you feel that Pakistan gets to 82? 90 they're in the safe zone I don't know about safe but I think that's probably par and they may find themselves in a position because of the fact that they've got batters who are in terrific form whether they can push harder than that yeah. um, and that is always the calculation in one day international cricket do you sort of take one or two risks lose one or two more wickets in order to try and push your scoring rate on or do you settle for par and then hope that your bowlers can do the business and that is always always the calculation particularly for Pakistan teams when they're out there batting first great you heard Butch and right here it's New Zealand who will be chasing. Let's see how Fakhar Zaman goes.